at number one is what? This was a terrific quarter for Alphabet, driven by double-digit growth across every major part of our business. We are seeing AI now driving real business results across the company. This was from Alphabet's quarter three earnings call. Five years now into the global AI boom, when every major tech giant is fighting for dominance in the new AI economy. Alphabet just delivered its first ever $100 billion quarter, joining Apple and Amazon in that elite club. But unlike them, Google did it on the back of AI. And, and we are firmly in the generative AI era. Across all surfaces, Google now processes over 1.3 quadrillion tokens monthly, a 20x jump in just one year. Clear proof of AI at scale. Let's talk about our eight learnings from this conference call related to AI. At number one is what differentiates Google. It's the full stack AI model from chips to products. This is where Google's strength lies. It spans all four layers. The first layer, the chips. This year marks 10 years of Google's TPU program, which is Google's chip called the Tensor Processing Unit. That's the backbone of its AI infrastructure. The latest version, 7, called Ironwood, will be now generally available. Google is scaling aggressively with partners like Anthropic, planning to access up to 1 million TPU, a sign of massive demand. As Sundar Pichai put it, Google is the only hyperscaler offering both NVIDIA GPUs and its own TPUs, giving customers choice and scale that is unmatched by rivals. Number two is Google's cloud. It isn't just hosting AI, it is AI. It powers everything inside Google and serves as the foundation of the entire AI stack and differentiates it from its competitors. At number three of the full stack model lies Google Research Arm, which continues to deliver world-class breakthroughs. It has a model family from Gemini to Veo to Genie to Nano Banana, which is setting new standards in text, video, and creative generation. And at the top of the stack is the products. Google is weaving AI into every product it owns, from search to YouTube, to Chrome, to Android and the workspace, reaching billions of users daily. The second learning was Gemini is catching up fast. The Gemini app has exploded to 650 monthly active users, close behind OpenAI's 800 million. Through direct API use, Gemini now processes 7 billion tokens per minute, evidence that developers are rapidly integrating Gemini into their workflows. Google plans to launch Gemini 3 later this year, promising higher reasoning power, smoother agentic behavior, and seamless integration across all Google products. Number three, Google AI enhanced search, Chrome plus Gemini. AI is driving what Sundar Pichai called an expansion moment for search. He said people are coming back to search with new AI experiences like AI overviews and AI mode. Users are asking more questions and finding better answers. AI overviews are also driving meaningful query growth as people realize Google can now answer much, much more complex questions. The AI mode has also exploded to 75 million daily active users with queries doubling quarter over quarter. And commercial queries, the kind that connect users to businesses, are growing faster than ever. This surge isn't just engagement, it's proof that AI is making search more conversational, more useful, and more addictive than ever before. Google has also reimagined Chrome as an AI-powered browser with deep Gemini integration and upcoming agentic features that will make browsing feel alive. 
The fourth big learning was about Google Cloud, which is now fueled by its AI differentiation. 70% of Google Cloud customers now use the company's AI products. The new Gemini Enterprise platform has already crossed 2 million subscribers across 700 companies. Cloud operating income jumped 85% year on year, showing that AI isn't just scaling, it's profitable. Number five is YouTube. AI is now powering every part of YouTube. VO3 has helped creators produce over 230 million videos. AI power editing and speech to song tools are making production seamless. Gemini driven analytics now guide creators with data backed insights. AI automatically identifies products, making videos instantly shoppable. AI isn't just improving YouTube, it's reinventing the entire creator economy. At number six is quantum computing, the next frontier of AI power. Google has a new chip called the Willow Quantum Chip, which achieved a breakthrough. It's running algorithms 13,000 times faster than one of the world's best supercomputers with verifiable results. This paves the way for real world quantum applications in AI and material science. Quantum is no longer a moonshot. It's becoming a pillar of Google's long-term AI world. Number seven, AI has transformed how Google itself works. Nearly 50% of all new code is now AI generated, cutting development time, improving accuracy, and unleashing creativity. As Sundar put it, AI isn't replacing engineers, it's amplifying them. Inside and outside the company, Google's message is clear. The AI revolution is no longer a vision, it's revenue. And at number eight, AI for enterprise, the rise of agentic work. Google is moving fast to productize AI for the enterprise, not just as tools, but as agents that can work, reason, and take action. In its new Gemini enterprise platform is becoming the front door for AI at work. Enterprises can now deploy ready-made AI agents across domains like marketing, customer support, and operations all built on Gemini. Google calls this the start of the agentic enterprise era, where AI doesn't just analyze, it acts. From chips to quantum, from search to agents, Google's AI empire is finally turning intelligence into impacts, and the revenue shows it.